Hello guys and welcome to another video on my channel and in today's video I'm going to be making a desk pencil holder or desk organizer so I'm going to be making it out of these two planks I found in my scrap wood box I need to loosen out this box a little bit so yeah I found these two in my scrapboard box and I will also be will be building it out of this that I also found in my scrapboard box. This is hardboard and it's veneer veneered on one side so I quite like that finish. It contrasts it contrasts this really nicely so yeah I'm gonna build out of this veneered hardboard and some planks and that should be it okay so the desk organizer or the pencil hold is nothing else than just a box and an additional box made from this so i measured the plank 15 into four 15 centimeter pieces for the main box and I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna build the build up the second box out of the hardboard around it. So I'll cut it to I'll cut it, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys. So I have now cut down the pieces to 15 centimeters. They're quite equal, so you can see it here. Wait, I lined them up quickly. So they're quite equal. Now I just need to clean up the ends with a file and uh, some of them got like dents in this. This is just scrap wood, so I need to sand, sand or file it off and assemble the box. But first, I need to clean up all the all these pieces. So I'll do that now, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so that was quick. I just needed to clean up all the pieces from splinters. Splinters, that's really all. I didn't bother about these dents. It just gives it a nice rustic look. I think I won't even sand this project. I'll just cover it with some lacquer or maybe, maybe some varnish and it will have like a rustic look to it. And I won't even bother evening it out here a little bit more on these ends. It also gives a rustic look. So now I'm going to assemble the box like this. So I'm going to take, take it, first screw these two sides together. Get, then get this side, screw this here. It's quite hard. Uh, I'm just dry fitting it right now and it will be something like that. Oh, like this. So I'm gonna screw it together and maybe add a little bit of glue to reinforce it. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, I have now assembled the box. It turned out pretty rustic. You can see it here, it's not perfect and it's rustic, I like it that way. It's really funny because I wasn't planning on it being rustic. It's like uh, in the making process you always change something and you really like it. So this is going to be a rustic project, I'm just going to plane it down to just make it a little bit more square because I like the rustic look but I also like it to be tidy. I don't like it to be rustic too much, so I'm just gonna plane plane these down, file it down, and then just put a hardboard bottom on this. And I'm gonna put and I'm gonna put the veneered side side so you can see it from inside. So it's gonna be like this. So it's gonna be like this because it this has a like 
a small amount of protection protection on it so when I put pencils or pens in there it it won't uh, scuff up as quickly and the other this side is more grippy than this side this one slides easily so I want this pen, pen, pencil box to just stay in one place stay in one place not slide like this I just want it here to stay in one place and that's what I want to do so I'm just gonna clean it up first and then add the bottom so I'm gonna do that and I'll see you in a minute okay guys so I'll now square it up a little bit and maybe it a little bit more rustic as well to make it a little bit more rustic I take my rasp and just gun over it like this over the wood so it makes scratches everywhere and when I put varnish or some kind of finish on it, and they'll stand out and they'll look cool. However, I I uh, made this this side flat so I can pin it pin it to the hardboard, and I'm just just now gonna attach the bottom. So I need to cut it out, and I'll see you in a minute. I actually forgot about one one thing. I said that I'm gonna build this and another box next to it, so I'm gonna build around it. And I can't add the bottom yet because I first need to add the second box next to it before I do that. So my second box is gonna be nothing than just uh, two long pieces of hardboard just mounted here and an end piece made from the same pine this just it's gonna be like a box here that with a crossbar and I'm gonna put the bottom when I've done that so I need to cut out the sides for the additional box and the front and I'll see you in a minute okay guys so I have now cut out all the pieces and these are the pieces all together so these are this for the sides this is hardboard and when I was sanding it I've gone on this veneer a little bit so now I've kind of def decided to sand all of it off or just leave it like that because it gives like a rustic look I also cut this piece that's gonna go here and I'm gonna show you on the box how it's gonna look like so I'm just gonna put one piece of hardboard on this side another piece of hardboard on this side and here so it's gonna be like a compartment for pencils here and for rubbers and some smaller stuff here so that's how it looks like from the side here here on the way so that now I just need to get some small nails and just nail it nail it to the side and that's gonna be it so I'm gonna do that and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, now I have attached the uh, hardboard to the sides of the box, so here how it looks like. And I attach it with four nails. Now I need to flush trim it, so I need to even this bottom bit out, even the front bits out, because one is shorter than the other and just clean up at the end and then I'll be ready to put this in this part in that is just gonna sit here however I, I also need to fit this in better so yeah I just need to clean it all up and I'll see you in a minute okay guys so I have now cleaned up all the edges on this so that's how it looks like and in the end I decided to scuff it all up so when the veneer is added all the scratches will show up so this is just sanded plain on both sides 
and it's basically cleaned up this is lined up with each other everything is okay so now that I have done that I just need to take this part and just attach it here so I'm going to do that with nails and I'll see you in a minute okay guys so I have now attached this front piece and now I need to just flush trim it trim it to size because it's sticking out here so I'm, for that I'm just going to use a file and some sandpaper so I'm just going to flush trim it and I need to add the bottom and that's really going to be the finished product and I put my phone in here as a test and it actually doubles up as a good phone stand as well as a pencil holder however I just need to now flush trim it so I'll see you in a minute okay guys I have now flush trimmed it and it looks okay so now that I have done all of these steps I just need to attack touch the bottom on the same hardboard I used for the sides. I'm only using hardboard because I found this in my scrapboard box. If you're making this project I would recommend thin plywood more because hardboard is basically a cardboard and when you cut it at the end you need to make really small and gentle strokes not to rip it, rip and feather it up. So hardboard is really the worst kind of wood you can find it's basically cardboard really for me uh, so however I need to uh, do it what with what with like with what I have so I just need to attach the bottom and that will be it so I'll do that and I'll see you in a minute okay guys I have now attached the bottom uh, cut the bottom and attached it and I have flush trimmed it all the way around so it's sand so it's sanded nice nice and flat and, uh, and that's basically the finished product now I just need to cover it with varnish so I'll do a small video on the first first of the first uh, first part of the lacquering I won't show you the whole, the whole of it because you need to wait 15 minutes between coats so that's basically it, the finished product I'll just show you how I lacquered it not lacquered, uh, var I put varnish on it so I'll do it right now I'll set, set it up and I'll show you it in a minute ok guys so I have now set up for uh, adding varnish to my pencil desk organizer thing so I have my warm oak gloss varnish and I'll just be covering it once or twice I'm not really gonna be uh, professional about this because I don't I don't really I need this to be perfect, this is a rustic anyway, so I will start, I guess I have to start covering it, so I have this brush and I'll start covering it, and I'll also, when, and when I also cover all of this, I'll get my pliers, grip it here, and I can still paint it while turning it all the directions I need. So I start covering it right now. So I get a little bit, just a little bit on the tip, and just start covering it with it. Covering it. I think I'll start from the side. It's the easiest. And just cover it in one direction. Get some more.
That was a bit too much, but never mind. Let's cover it all. Get my pliers now. Grip it here and cover the bottom. I'll just do that and I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so I'm now applying the first coat and it already looks a lot better and all the scuffs are showing up on the dark colour in the dark colour so I quite like that, it gives like a rustic finish so now I just need to wait for the first coat to dry and then get the second coat and I decided that I'll get a total of three coats so it's nice and protected so I'll wait for this one and do the other one and I'll show you just the finished product after the fir third coat and when it's cured so I'll see you in a couple of minutes this time okay guys so this is the finished product uh, so it is now drying in its third coat so I'm pretty proud of it now not really proud but I think it will help me a lot so I can put all my pencils in it so I don't have to store them over there I'll just show you quickly over here in this bucket I can store them all in here so thanks for watching in a lot of we dipping in the powder blue flow so it's so good it's dripping on wood get a ride in the engine that could go get me robbing it bang bang cocking it queen nikki dominant prominent